Shalom. It is, of course, the ancient Hebrew greeting of peace, and yet it means so much more than that. Wikipedia defines it as uh, meaning peace, harmony, wholeness, completeness, prosperity, welfare, and tranquility. And someone else said it signifies a sense of well-being and harmony within and without. The absence of agitation, a state of calm without any anxiety or stress. It is a word big enough for the peace of nations and personal enough for an individual blessing. In short, Shalom speaks of holistic or holy health for our souls and our spirits. We attempt to live much of our lives like a sprint, but the Apostle Paul reminds us that ministry is much more like a marathon. A marathon runner cannot sprint 26 miles without doing some serious damage. We are all about life and ministry for the long haul, with short bursts of sprinting, generally around Christmas and Easter. But ministry is a lifelong marathon too, of loving others as we love ourselves. But if we don't love ourselves and care for ourselves, how are we to sustain those deep wells of love that we need for other people? It is not selfish but smart to take good care of the resources God has given us. Even as we care for church members and buildings, let's not forget about the resource that is yourself. Now we've been looking at the RPMs individually, but we are a whole person and every aspect of our well-being can impact on every other part. And when we neglect our well-being, we lose that deep peace, that shalom of our souls and our welfare, the life in all its fullness that was promised by Jesus. He said when we learn from him, we find rest for our souls, and he knew that we would need it. So look after your well-being. It is one of God's most precious resources. Ask for help if you need it and enjoy the abundant life that God has planned for us and his shalom. <laughs>